This is lesson 3-2, which is adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials. Our essential question is how do you add, subtract, and multiply polynomials? So the first example is adding and subtracting. So this is just like um, stuff that we've done in Algebra 1 before. It's adding like terms or subtracting like terms. So I'm going to color code this here. So we have a 6x cubed and we have a 2x cubed. We have an x squared here and a negative 8x squared there. We have a 4x and then we don't have any other x's. And then we have a minus 7 and a plus 3. So basically we are combining the parts that are the same color, so the same x values, um, so if we have 6x cubed plus 2x cubed, that would be 8x cubed. Then we have x squared plus negative 8x squared, so that would be minus 7x squared. And I'm putting this in standard form as I go, so I'm walking down the powers of x. Then I go to x, I just have the 4x, so it would be plus 4x. And then I have negative 7 plus 3, which would be negative 4. So that is how we add. Now if we go down here, I'm going to highlight the like terms again. So here's a 3x squared y squared and a 2x squared y squared. Here's a 2xy squared and a 3xy squared. And then here's a 6x squared and a negative 2x squared. Okay, so if I start with the x squared y squareds, 3 minus 2 is just 1, so I can just write 1x squared y squared, or I can just leave it as x squared y squared. Then I have 2xy squared minus 3xy squared, so that would be minus xy squared. And then I have 6x squared minus negative 2x squared, so minus a negative is going to turn into a plus, so this would be plus 8x squared. So that is adding and subtracting. Our next example is multiplying. So we are going to um, multiply. This first one is a binomial times a trinomial. So that means if I have two terms times three terms, that means in my initial multiplication I should have six terms. So I always like to think about that because it makes me sure that I'm doing all six multiplications that I need to. So this would be 2m times 3m squared would be 6m cubed. 2m times negative 4m would be minus 8m squared. And then 2m times 2 would be plus 4m. I'm going to run out of space here. 5 times 3m squared would be 15m squared. 5 times negative 4m would be minus 20m, and 5 times 2 is 10. So then we combine like terms. So my answer would be 6m cubed. Then I have a negative 8m squared and a 15m squared, which would be 7m squared. And then I have a 4m and a negative 20m, so that would be minus 16m. Plus 10. So that's what I get when I multiply it out. Now B, I have three trinomials. So what that means is I need to take two parentheses at a time, multiply them, and then multiply it by the next one. So I'm going to start with the first two. So if I FOIL this, so I have MN times MN is going to give me M squared, N squared, and then minus 2MN then plus mn minus 2. So then I'm going to save space here and just erase. So the negative 2mn and the plus mn is just going to turn into a minus mn. Okay, so now again I have a trinomial times a binomial, so I'm going to have six terms here. So this would be m cubed, n cubed, 
plus 4 m squared n squared, then minus m squared n squared, minus 4 m n, and then minus 2 m n, minus 8. So if I combine like terms on that one, I get m cubed n cubed, then I have a plus 3 m squared n squared, and then minus 6 m n, minus 8. So that would be my final answer. So on these, it's just tricky to keep track of all your variables when you're multiplying. Okay, and our last example here is a application problem. So it says, Carolina makes wind chimes to sell at the local street market. As Carolina produces a greater number of wind chimes, she can lower the price per unit. The function v of x equals 48 minus 2x relates to the price v to the number produced x. The cost of making x wind chimes can be represented by the function c of x equals 12x plus 64. How many wind chimes should Carolina sell each week to maximize her profit? So we can see here, profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So we have the cost equation, so that one's good. But then this up here is the price. So we also have to use this function right here where it says price times unit sold is going to give us um, the revenue. So you can see there's kind of a little arrow to that. So revenue, I'm gonna use R of X. Revenue is our price, which is 48 minus 2x times um, the number produced, which is just x. So if we multiply that out there, that would become 48x minus 2x squared. So that's our revenue. So then we want to find profit. So profit, p of x, is equal to our revenue, which is 48x minus 2x squared, minus our cost, I'm running out of space here, which is 12x plus 64. So if I simplify that by distributing the negative rid of the parentheses, I have 48x minus 2x squared minus 12x minus 64, and then finally I'm going to put that in standard form. So negative 2x squared Combine the 48x and the negative 12x, so it would be plus 36x minus 64. Okay, so now I have a quadratic function, and we want to maximize her profit. So we want to figure out how many, um, how many units she needs to sell to maximize her profit. So we can graph this. So you could take this equation right here, and you could put it into Desmos and graph and find the maximum. So in the next slide... I have it graphed for us. So um, this maximum value tells us that she needs to sell nine wind chimes and that will make a profit of $98 each week. So that's kind of an application of how all of these polynomial equations can result or can apply to like a business type situation. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.